Lifeline Survival Gear here today, lifelinesurvivalgear.com, and today's tutorial we're going to show you how to pop a latch using common items that you can find easily around you. Today we're going to be using a bobby pin, just a common household bobby pin, and with the bobby pin you shape it into a slight hook or kind of like a shepherd's hook, and the bottom band of a t-shirt, just any common t-shirt. Uh, you rip off the entire bottom band and use the entire thing and then cut it in one cut it in the middle so that you have a, a one piece of rope. Uh, some of the reasons why you may need to pop a lock uh, with uh, common household items like this in time of a need is obviously you don't have a key. In times of a disaster and emergency situations you may need to maintain your concealment uh, thus not uh, drawing unwanted attention to yourself or others in your group so as to maintain a level of protection. Um, with this type of lock, it's an outward facing latch and anybody that has ever uh, encountered one of those, you know that you cannot use a debit card to open them. Um, and with this type of door frame here, as you can see by looking at the casing, it is an inward facing casing so it's uh, something that you can't even kick the door in you would have to kick it in from the out, kick it out from the inside and again the ideal here is to maintain uh, secrecy and concealment for protection of the party so today we're we're, we're going to have Derek who's assisting at lifelinesurvivalgear.com with the video show you how to pop a lock using a bobby pin and a piece of rope um, you you use the bobby pin to feed the string over the top of the latch. The, uh, in this case we're using a t-shirt. Feed it over the top of the latch and down behind the latch. Remember this is an outward facing latch so in a sense this is kind of acting like a flimsy credit card if you will. And this can typically be done in under five minutes. Um, one of the reasons why it's beneficial to know how to do things like this is uh, generally in storage sheds, things along those lines are the type of items or building structures that will have these type of locks on them. You can find uh, necessary tools and survival, uh, tools for survival, um, supplies, sundries, things along those lines that you desperately need in a time of emergency situation or natural disaster in your area. And you use a shepherd's hook part to feed the string down behind the latch. And sometimes this may take two or three tries. It does take a little bit of patience. the bobby pin to pull it out from the other side from the bottom side of it you grab a hold of it pull it towards you once you got it make sure it's in there and you can pull on both sides of it to show everybody that it is behind the latch and that's why sometimes it takes more than one try so, but as you can see, it does open the latch because it did come right through there. Um, but we're still going to go ahead and show you that it can open the latch and will open the door. It just takes a little bit of patience. Even though we've demonstrated that it does open the latch, we're still going to show you that it can and will open the door. The key here will be in timing. When you go to open the door, some people, just from natural instinct, will want to wiggle the door back and forth, push it in and out, trying to open it. That is a no-no, because just as you are pulling the rope or the string past the latch, you may inadvertently be shutting the door back on itself. So you'll want to avoid the natural instinct to, to manage the door like that. You want to give it a, a slight pull and keep it a, a firm pull towards you at all times when you're doing this. And that is how you open a door with just a bobby pin and a, and a piece of a t-shirt. And that's what we mean when you go past there, the inward facing latch, it sinks the latch in to where you can, you can open the door. So unfortunately there's no survival supplies in here, but 
we'll uh, stay tuned and we'll bring you some more tutorial videos on on things like this things you can do in a time of disaster um, and uh, in emergency situations and uh, feel free to like us on feel free to like us on our Facebook page at lifelinesurvivalgear.com you can also find us on our website for other tutorial videos um, we're all, um, you can subscribe to our video uploads here on YouTube and then our, on our website underneath survival tips down along the left hand side you'll find uh, if you click on that we have survival videos on there as well we also have a live chat room where people can go in and chat with other people in there uh, absolutely free so feel free to subscribe join us on Facebook and we look forward to hearing uh, your video requests things that you would like to see things that you would like to know about thank you